Welcome back. British doctors who successfully separated conjoined twins say the girls should be able to live normal, healthy lives. 11-month-old Rital and Rital Gabura from Sudan were joined at the head, a rare condition which only 1 in 10 million people survive. As Martha Fairley reports, their parents say they feel very lucky. Rital and Rita Gabura had a 1 in 10 million chance of surviving early childhood. They were born in Sudan, twin girls joined at the head. But now, just days before they celebrate their first birthday, they can lie side by side. Their parents, both doctors, hope this is the start of a normal life for the girls. I'm so happy because uh, everything went smoothly, everything was great. And um, my family there uh, at my country uh, are so happy for that. And everybody do not believe it. The conjoined twins' condition was extremely rare. They shared the same blood supply to their brains, putting Retag's heart, which was working much harder, under considerable strain. It took two operations in May to divide the main shared vein. Then in July, tissue expanders were inserted to stretch the skin around their heads. And in August, they had a fourth and final operation to separate them. We had to divide that common vein and we were deciding where to divide it. And it was a, a real red wire, blue wire moment. Should we cut hair? Should we cut hair? So in, in spite of all that planning, there was that on our feet thinking that went on. Ritag and Rital are both now thriving with no sign of any brain damage. And although they still like to be close together, they're already starting to learn how to develop on their own. Martha Fairley, ITV News.